hello friends welcome back to my youtube channel uh, today i am showing a small exercise how to do the cable tray filter in a rivet so this is the one of the uh, floor plan so here i just made out some panels over here smdb panels so if you can go to the 3d view so you can see uh, it will be look like this so from this one how we can run the cable tray and how to do the filters and everything i can show you so you can um, see here uh, you can give some the levels it's showing like big right so you can change the scale so you can uh, get it like a small view like this and then you can go to here in the cable containment first level so uh, for example this is the riser i need to run the cable tray from this one to over there so go to here first i need to create some filter first okay so just need to go there and go to the containment uh, view template then go to filters from here and then go to edit new so i need to create some filters first okay for example i just need to make a, like a cable tray uh, for example this one smdb from the smdb one zero one okay so i'm just copying this one copy it and then you can go here the cable tray and cable tray fitting you can select the categories from here then you can choose the service type from here okay so I'm simply you can select the service type and just need to give equal and i'm just pasting that one as uh, cable tray smdb1 that is the name of the cable tray okay then I just give apply and i need to create another cable tray just duplicate this one so once you duplicate this one so same same character will come up okay so then just to duplicate this one then just to rename this one and I'm just giving this one SMDB2 and here so automatically once you duplicate it so all the settings will come just I'm giving two then apply then I need to create another cable tray duplicated this one and I'm just rename this one like uh, SMDB3 just click that one so automatically it will come like this and just uh, I just need to give a three then apply okay then come here and go to the add option so I just need to add this three then you need to go give the colors for this one so I'm choosing one co color for this one and I'm giving a line weight around uh, uh, four and the patterns I can give like uh, uh, this kind of pattern and just uh, give a same color for that and just click OK and here I'm just giving another color green and uh, line weight I'm giving four and here I can choose the uh, color first then uh, the pattern second the pattern which one is you need to use it so meanwhile I'm using now uh, which one is that uh, I can use this one and then click OK then again you can come up over here and you, you need to give some other color for example blue and uh, here you can give a four and here you just need to give a patterns over here so I'm choosing kind of this pattern and uh, just give it some colors so I'm giving this color click OK apply OK so apply OK so what will happen we just need to uh, uh, draw the cable tray first right uh, uh, for example I just need to one run one cable tray up to here so go to the system tab then take a cable tray from here then you can choose this um, uh, whichever size you require so I am choosing 450 and I am just uh, giving the name service name first one 01 because you, you know we created three type of uh, uh, this uh, service type so I am just uh, the same num name I can give over here for example I just uh, I will show you one more time so we just created three types okay so this ta same type you need to uh, show up over here okay this same type type of service service type okay so just click ok and ok and just we need to go to here and just paste that in same name and then 450 to 100 then just click over here and you can draw the cable tray like this for example you can draw the cable tray and with the level is this one so you just need to draw the cable tray like this and just uh, draw like this and uh, it will be up to here you can draw it so if you look in the 3d just to select this one 
and you can um, look in the 3d it will show like that so here also you can apply this uh, um, templates and everything so i can use the same template like for example um, the K electrical containment I, I can use over here so you can see all the um, um, the color will be reflected over here so you can go to the vv electrical settings okay J you can just give a none um, just give a none and you can uh, <coughs> give some other things like this reference planes and the scope box you can off it from here and just click ok so you can see the cable tie it is visible over here right then what you need to do just need to uh, another another cable tie you need to run it for example this one you can use it and uh, give a name like uh, 0 2 then it will come from this smdb and it is going from here to here okay for example here to here something like that up to here so automatically that will create and another cable try to create it same height the same thing otherwise if you need to make another kind of this one so you can just make it like this 0 3 and just need to make it one cable tray from here and uh, it will go like this and uh, you can say like uh, it, it, it you need to reach it up to okay i, I can make it like this also every uh, all the uh, routing you can make it okay for example 45 degree i just need to re reach up to here so so this kind of things you can make it and then you can just go to the 3d view how it's look so you can see all the uh, cable trays are visible over here uh, clearly you can see all the cable trays are visible over here and you can change this one shaded or something like that or otherwise you can go to here and change the architectural reflected ceiling something like that okay then uh, you can see here just go to none and uh, even you can find it shaded so you can see clearly that one and we can apply our uh, uh, filters over also here i will show you how to do that one so annotation category i can just uh, change this reference planes and levels and scope boxes from here in the 3d view okay then uh, we can apply you can give your filters over here for example you need to give the filter so just give this one so you can apply your template also but i will show you how to in the 3d view how to you can set these things okay just uh, click on this one and the go to the pattern and solid fill and i'm just uh, choosing this color for the first one and then uh, another one i can just uh, give a solid fill and uh, just give a color for green click ok and another one you can just go over here solid fill and give color for uh, this one then click ok apply ok so automatically what will happen uh, that will reflect in the 3d also so simply you can make it this uh, using service type you can um, <coughs> uh, make the uh, 3d uh, means uh, the cable tray and if for example if you need to make a branch from here okay for example just create create similar then if you want to change the size of this cable tray select that one and just uh, draw the cable tray like this so wherever you require so you can make it like that simply you can make it okay for example um, another another one you want to drop it the cable tray over here so make a sections you can get it the sections from here or in the in the view tab so you can take the sections from here i'm just uh, taking one sections from here up to like this and then just uh, stretch up to here then click on this one and go to view and you can see here drop down and just go to here fine and change the uh, scale of this drawing and just uh, drop uh, click over here and just uh, draw the cable tray and then uh, up to the panel you can drop it so if you go to the 3d view so how it's look you can see it will be uh, showing like this so why it is showing different because the last we uh, this is service type is different so this service type is cable tray smdb01 so just copy that one and tab it and select that one and give a service name same service name so it will show the clear picture of the uh, clear picture of the cable track clear clear filter of the cable track okay so then another containment if you want to make it uh, like uh, another dropping another another panel so go to the here and go to view then uh, you can drop the another cable track. so this is like a uh, zero two so for example if you want to make a create similar or draw cable tray so 
uh, you need to make it as it uh, as that one so just uh, create similar then change this one 0 to and then pick the cable tray like this so what will happen so same uh, same filter will apply over there and you can see in the 3d view it will be look like this it's clear i think uh, you understood these things okay so then the next one another cable tray also here so just move this one up to here and just go to view and then click on this one draw cable tray dropping to the panel simply you can drop the panel and then uh, select the panel like this go to the view so you can clearly see all the cable trays are come up over here why it is showing green so last we put at this one so you can change that one to three so automatically the color will be changed to as per that so you can clearly see all the cable trays coming into the panel like this and if you want to make a branches for this each cable tray for example if you these three are coming in the same level right so if you need to uh, create similar and you can make a branch like this so what will happen here will be get a clash right so it these all are in the same level so that is what you, it is getting clash so what you can do you just delete that one and even this one also getting clash right so for that wh what we can do it so make one section so over here or here or here you can split it this one from here just split the cable tray from here sl is the split command and then uh, we just need to change this one like a uh, one and then you just need to drag like this and and what do you need to do we need just need to make a uh, some other uh, without clash we need to make a cable tray right so go to view and here you can see it was uh, clashing with this one right so you can little bit make it uh, make it this one little bit higher uh, around this this much height and then move the cable tray a little bit back over here and you can stretch this one and you can draw a cable tray create similar and then you can uh, draw like this so then just trim it tr and you can match it this one so this cable tray is 0 to so if you click that one then go to the view so you can see uh, there will be some um, another level it is going and avoiding that clash right so same process you can do it the same level if you need to make this cable another cable tray also so co just copy the levels pick it on this one just paste it over here so you can uh, even even in the 3d view also you can do it so you can just uh, stretch this one up to here and uh, just uh, drag it like this so automatically what will happen the that will connect it and you can just go to the uh, this view better better uh, better make it through this section okay so then easily you can uh, 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 see the things where will be get the gaps and everything so you can move it from the arrow key from the keyboard so just move it like that so you can clearly avoid the clashes from this cable tray so one cable tray is going like this another two cable trays are go like that so this is the method is avoiding the clash with the cable tray and if you want to make a straight over here then create similar then if you want to make a one branch over here with with a some other uh, size so i'm choosing 100 so you can make it like a, sorry uh, i'm just choosing like a 300 so you can make the cable tray like this and uh, connecting to wherever you required like that okay so another another thing is like you can just uh, create similar um, with this one so this is like a um, cable tray smdb one okay so just created that one create similar and then change this one to one and it will be uh, we can select from here and uh, just uh, up to here in the in the in the riser area so just need to move the section like this and go to view then you can make a riser from here okay so create similar just to draw a cable tray so you can rise the cable tray like this okay so wherever you need so you can rise the cable tray and where you need to drop it you can drop it so once you selected this one go to 3d view you can see the all the cable tray riser you can see up over here right so this is a simple exercise for making cable tray containments uh, for risers and everything for example these two cable trays are going same level okay so i need to create a same um, uh, same uh, cable tray through this lighter so how uh, uh, riser 
so how we can do it create similar and this cable tray is 0 to so just select that one and I just need to draw this one and if if I draw this one it will be clashing with this right so this is are these are the same same level so for example if I, I, I connect it like this so what will happen if you go to the 3d view sorry if you go to the 3d view so like this you can go to the 3d view so you can see here it will it the two are clashing right so uh, I think that two are in different uh, level so no issue for that it will not clashing so just uh, need to make a uh, sections from here then go to view then you can see here uh, yeah two cable trays are in different uh, level so just select this one and draw cable tray and you can just uh, go up in another level where you need just drop like this so automatically it will be coming like that so if you go to the 3d view so you can see how it's work and even even you can stretch this one a little bit like this so you can clearly see the risers and everything so this is the simple exercise um, for the uh, containment so those who are working in rivet so they can use this kind of things and if you made need to make another branch over like this so you can place it over here and uh, if you want to uh, make a um, uh, cable tray over there so just to go to the cable tray like this so it will automatically generate and you just need to change the same um, uh, same service type for 03 so automatically it will generate over here okay, so if you want to make another branch here click on that one and just need to create similar so just need to change this one 03 and you can you can draw the cable tray from here like this and you can draw the cable tray like that just go to the 3d view how it's look see it will be looking good right so this is the method we are using this um, cable tray containment um, dropping and everything okay so for uh, for example if you want to split this cable tray you can split it that one also uh, just sl for split and you can just uh, for example here some um, some um, duct is coming so you need to bring this cable tray up okay so uh, for example this one three nine five zero so you can make it a little bit up all the cable tray will come to the uh, up upside so then go to the top view and just need to select like this so automatically uh, it will not work then then just uh, go to uh, because because the, uh, the these two are very uh, the uh, nearest uh, height okay so th this one we can make it a little bit more so for 4000 4100 I can say okay so then now you can go to the top view and just connected this one this two so automatically it will connect like this I think uh, this video is helpful for you if you like this video please subscribe my channel it's totally related to AutoCAD and Revit thanks for watching